What's up, YouTube? Joe here in the YouTube. workshop. <laughs> in the workshop with Briarville Rick on Skype as usual. What up, YouTube? Rick Barrett checking in from Briarville. Yeah, he's uh, he's out east, and I'm out west. Talk about Nashville, of course. If we that's, that's that's going to change here pretty soon. That is going to change. Just you uh, got that Mondo. You got that Mondo shop that's going to be one to covet. Oh man, I'm uh, moving at the end of this month. How about that? Finally, finally the deal's done on the house. We're uh, moving and got a place up on the north side of Nashville so I'll be about a half I mean uh what about 15 minutes closer to you now at the oh, at the closer than that it's you're an hour away now uh you're, you're 20 minutes away now going the back way so I'll be about 20 minutes from him versus an hour mm -hmm. that means he's probably going to show up at my shop a lot more that's right I don't know I might might have to rethink this a little bit <laughs> But um, that's, 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 that's going to be, be fun. a nice shop, too. You should describe it. I mean, it is spread <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. Wh what we'll do is we'll show it. Um, we're going to, Rick and another couple of friends, um, going to be doing some building out over there uh, here toward the end of the month. We'll do some videos of that and show you what's going to be going on. But uh, I've already talked to my customers via a private uh, message. A private video message to all of uh, my customers who are waiting on pipes and got some amazing response thank you so much for your response on uh, on that and uh, everybody's looking forward to seeing things come out of the new shop here very shortly uh, in a week or so I'll be kind of shutting down this one and packing it up oh my gosh what a job that's going to be you're coming to help pack right yeah right <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in Chicago. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. The Chicago Pipe Show is coming up uh, the first weekend in May, and unfortunately, since I'm moving that weekend, which kind of Chicago, fell into, I was help Joe move. Yeah. Chicago, help Joe move. You know, I could turn, I, I could turn this, I, know, I could turn this way and just turn him off, and you know, we wouldn't have to listen to all that stuff. Uh, but. Um, I was planning on going to the Chicago Pipe Show this year for my first time ever, but unfortunately, I've got to move that weekend. Uh, Rick's going to be up there, and um, he'll have a couple of my products up there at our table uh, there at the uh, Chicago Pipe Show. So be sure you visit. If you go up there, if you're around there, be sure to visit Rick. Uh, back to the shop thing, we will we'll do some video. We're uh, the weekend prior to that. We're actually doing the the build out. Um, you know, as far as workbenches and stuff like that, of uh, the new place, we'll uh, we'll kind of give you a sneak peek of what that's looking like, and then after we get moved in there and get started, uh, the first week of May, I'll be uh, making pipes again from up there, and we'll give you a give you a view of what it looks like up there, all get, getting it dirty again, getting it dusty again. Right. But uh, oh, by the way, I am smoking here, uh, my friend Mark Balkovic. Got this from him a long time ago. This is one of his first OMS pokers. And uh, great job. Great. Mark's been a great friend, great pipe making friend, and he's making some incredible pipes uh, right now. What are you smoking there, Rick, old buddy, old pal? Well, I'm smoking from Frog Morton. And it's just uh, Morton on the bayou. Yeah. So I've got the little Perique taste, and then, uh, and then my my trusty shop pipe, the one you see me most in all the time, is my uh, my Eric Norton freehand. Which uh, I've got more pipes. I mean, I've got more pipes than I know what to do. I got enough pipes that when I sneak another one in my collection, my wife doesn't even realize. It. <laughs> so, but uh, I, I, I trust me, she'll find it. out one way or the other. Mm -hmm. She she will. But uh, only in mine, I'm smoking some. Uh, this is called. Virginia Mary from Smokers Abbey here in Nashville. That's good stuff. It is too. good stuff. That's a good, that's a good, it's uh, a good mild Virginia. Um, every now and then when you want something just mild, that's a, it's a real real good one. That's a good brick and mortar too. I yeah, like it. it is. Smokers Abbey uh, in East Nashville, uh, which is about right in between where Rick and I are going to be here 
very shortly. Wanted to show you a few of the pipes that I've been working on uh, this week. Here is one that uh, just did for my buddy Adam Houston. This is what's called a reverse Mad Hatter, or as he called it, the I think he called it the Durka Durka pipe. <laughs> it uh, normally the rustication uh, or sandblast is right here where the smooth is, and vice versa. And uh, he wanted it done like this. Plus, he wanted the addition of a 308 shell casing embedded into the pipe. So we did it right there on the very bottom of it. I don't know if you can see it or not, if I get in the right light, but in the rustication uh, or my my stamping there. It's kind of a kind of a neat way to do that. But that's uh, the reverse Matt Hatter. It's got a uh, kind of a desert sort of camo, desert camo uh, look on the stem there. That's uh, really cool. Yeah, this is a uh, Sleepy Hollow 2. Oh, here is a banded stubby Dublin. Oh, this is a blue Dagner Slayer poker right here, blue with the blue stem and the blue on the the bottom there. This is a black Dagner Slayer poker. The black Dagner is a little bit more kind of dressed up a little bit. It's got a smooth top on it, a smooth bottom of course, and a classic black stem there. This is a pipe that Boontar, Brother Boontar, uh, quite a while ago had me to make a pipe for him and wanted to designate it the 2014 St. Paddy's Day pipe, the Boontar St. Paddy's Day pipe. Uh, made him one and then he wanted to uh, get one to give away to the winner of his recent contest and uh, finally finished this thing up uh, again and here it is. It is the Guinness look to it there. It's not officially a Guinness but it's the, it's the look of a Guinness glass there with the foam on the top and the green band right there and this one is headed to I think it's uh, over to Great Britain the winner of his his contest so there you go the uh, Boontar St. Paddy's Day pipe so uh, you got anything you're working on over there or are you just slacking again well no we're always working uh, we got a, a stem client uh, sent in several for a stem and I wanted to kind of show you uh, what we start working with in the very beginning to uh, to make it more economical we'll use these stem blanks and obviously you know the uh, the blanks are very rough you can see the uh, uh, the button there this button is incredibly sharp uh, and um, there's no tenon they don't fit anything but we uh, We'll take them and then fit them to the pipe, and in in doing so, uh, we get the uh, we'll fit it to where the uh, stem meets up properly with the uh, with the shank. And then, hang on just a second. And while he's talking, while he's getting that, uh, he works with uh, more of the prefabbed stems uh, over there and uh, I do uh, I say 99 and 9 tenths percent of the ones that I do are are hand carved as far as my stems are concerned which you know I, I I've, I've got um, kind of mixed feelings about it it's kind of not, I, you can do hand carved because you can use different materials for that a lot of my pipes you know come with the the different color stems and, and so forth and you don't get a lot of preformed in in, in that kind of thing. Uh, but even like he showed you just a second ago with that uh, preform stem, you've still got uh, it's still vulcanite. Uh, it's still, or in some cases, you do get a uh, uh, an acrylic preform. But you still have to work that thing down to fit and get all the molding off of it and, and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes it, you you work probably more on those than you do if you'd started from scratch. The reason why you make yours by hand is because you're a hand craftsman and your pipes are handmade. My clients, our clients, 99% uh, of them, eh, maybe not that many, 90% of them want to go an economical route to get a serviceable pipe back that looks great. And, and, uh, and we provide that because these, in the, in the long run, will save time with and labor is expensive i mean you got to make a living you can only work so much per day but when you look at here's a saddle bit here and uh uh 
that that's preformed, and this is the final this is the final uh, look when mm-hmm. when they're done. You know, so for uh, for repairing, which is a whole complete different animal, yeah, and then then handmade hand craftsman Joe Case pipes. This there is there is nothing wrong with this mm-hmm. and and i'll even venture to, and, and don't get me wrong i mean as 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 you know i mean i can i i can hand make stems too yeah you did one you did one the other day you did one the other day a cumberland stem yeah, right. i think it's you need to check out my instagram and his instagram and see that one that was absolutely amazing that was completely from scratch that was really cool that that came from just around cumberland rod that we uh we we had imported from uh germany all right, so there you go. You've got uh, the pipe repair going on at uh, Briarville, Briarville.com, right here on the bottom of the screen, Briarville.com. If you have a, a pipe that needs uh, some repair work, needs some restoration, maybe you inherited uh, your grandpa's or your uncle's pipes or whatever and need them cleaned and, and restored to almost like new, in some cases just as good as new, and in most cases as a matter of fact, uh, you can contact Rick. He's as close as your mailbox. That's uh, Briarville dot com. Uh, what I what I started to do with is is I wanted to show you why our stems are different. You know, a lot of time I get pipes coming in here all the time for with com, with this complaint. You see that edge on that button? Mm-hmm. That is sharp. And and what it is, it's because they rushed through it and didn't put uh, the time in into it that that they should have. And I just wanted to show the difference, if you if you can see that. See how nice and smooth that looks. Yeah. And and how uh, and how that uh, that that's a comfort button. Yeah. I call it my comfort button, yeah. and it is uh, very comfortable to smoke. And it just takes it takes a little extra time to do it. But I mean that's. I mean, that's why, yeah. you know, Charlie sent five pipes in to be restored. There you go. So, there you go, Briarville.com. And, of course, you can check mine out at JoeCasePipes.com. I'm not taking any new custom orders right now. Occasionally, I'll do an IA pipe from time to time, which means instant access. But uh, uh, maybe after we get moved, uh, we might uh, be checking out uh, the, uh, the ability to take on a limited basis some uh, new orders uh, here and there. So just uh, keep watching for that. So we got to get out of here. Rick says, See ya. From Briarville East. <laughs> from Briar. Well, we rehearsed this. Let's try it again. <laughs> he, he from didn't... Joe Case Pipes West. No, I'm East. <laughs> yeah, from you're. Joe Case Pipes East. And <laughs> Joe Case Pipes <laughs> West, soon Check to be North. <laughs> Peace out. God bless you all. <laughs> See you next time. You're crazy.